I had two old women, surprisingly, came over to me, gave me some money. They read my sign and said, to be honest, I don't mind if you do abuse drugs or alcohol. <laughs> I was then gave me some money. I was like, okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> People just tend to leave homeless people stuff alone, unless it's like another homeless person that doesn't have a sleeping bag or whatever, that'll probably get nipped, but I could just get another one. Yeah, today's been all right. Um, I had a few weirdos come up to me though, like um, asking me to go back to their house and stuff. Uh, one brought me a microwave burger and then said, um, do you want to come back to mine? I was like, no. Can I have a popcorn chicken and barbecue beans and a fan art, please? Oh, that's handy. They didn't give me a fork. <laughs> well, the other day when it was raining, I made £12.50. And I had to get tobacco, food for my other half. Our sleeping bag was soaked, so we had to sleep with just blankets, no sleeping bag. My other half don't sit out. It's just me doing it. No one really looks at men twice. Whereas I'm a woman, people feel sorry and more inclined to give me money. It's not really very fair. He's very good. Brighton's full of some characters. <laughs> Throw one at you. Oh, All right, I can't, I can't do it with my left hand. Did you throw it? I did, I threw one, yeah, but I'm not going to throw too many because they're fucking nice. Oh, it's got black bits as well. Our landlord was illegally renting. Uh, he basically had loads of safety issues he was meant to fix. He had someone living in the cupboard. He had like loads of people in, a room, in like rooms. He even had a, you know, a couple with a baby. And yeah, the council took the house back, basically. We, yeah, we were called intentionally homeless, unfortunately. It's awful. When it's boring, we take the piss out of each other. And we, we, we like a lot of the same stuff, but we're also different enough to not, like, not, you know, not get bored of each other. Do you love it? Yeah, of course. Loving loads. <laughs> I want to be with them to the end, you know. There's people starving in the world. <laughs> I can change anything about me and, you know, who love me, like, who love the, you know, the person inside. I never had that before. So he had to keep lifting the shutter up, and he was like, what? He was like, what? what? The times we have done it outside, like, <laughs> like I said, with me with a heavy sleeper, I've woken up with this shutter open and my bum to the window with loads of people sitting in there. I don't think they would want it again. <laughs> Maybe it's just sex. People are funny about watching people <laughs> watching homeless people have sex in the middle of the street, I suppose. Kiss. I'll bite your lip. <laughs> Come in. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> That is another homeless guy's mess that I cleared out. And down here is a door. Oh, he's in. 
to where we can get in. This is my partner. Are you right being on camera? You're on it now. <laughs> We've got to sweep it up because the wind's blowing all the crap down. Do you want to come in? It's a bit dark and a little bit smelly. And yeah, this is just, this was sort of all the crap that was left in here, so we just piled it all down to one end to keep it sort of maintained, if you like. Yeah, they're all off. <laughs> we had a, the beautiful tenant that was on the meth. Was this, it room? Yeah. yeah. This is how he actually lived. He'd sleep in that. It's just, well, you've got no smell of vision, to be honest. So our room's a bit more lighter, so you might be able to see it. Yeah. Well, excuse right. the mess, but... Wardrobe malfunction this morning. <laughs> We're quite lucky to have this, really. Yeah, you can sleep here, You can because you can lock the door. You don't have to worry about your stuff being stolen, someone hurting you in the night. You don't have to worry, really. How long have you been here? This one, about three and a half months. Yeah. And then... About three and a half months, easy. Yeah, about yeah, here. We were in adaptation for about a month. Well, we were in with a no, shelter bit, weren't we, in a tent? That was awful. Yeah. Oh, that was really no, scary. Right. And then, then we Fallout were, was in there for about a month. Then we were in a uh, car park for about three weeks. In a tent, when it? can be quite scary. Well, yeah. not, probably not for you, because you're a male, but... For a girl, yes. I found myself on the train the other day. This lady was quite well-spoken. I thought, oh, she's quite posh. And I thought, actually, it's not that she's posh. I've just been around lots of scumbags. <laughs> you know, I know it sounds awful, but you know, it's the difference. It's like a totally different life being homeless. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. That's Rudolph. Lovely, lovely Rudolph. A red nose. Hello, red nose. Yeah, red nose. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's about two weeks. two weeks in this place. The only the only uh, um, thing that keeps us warm is each other's body warmth. If if uh, if we could be yeah. on our own, it's impossible to survive in this kind of cold. What happened to your your eye? Can you see that? And um, so I was coming down, yeah. Hill. And yeah. I thought, I thought the um, entrance to the um, tent was over here. So I was trying to get in, and, and I, <laughs> I crawled. I fell and oh, crawled somewhere here. Somewhere, yeah, somewhere here. So you, why were you evicted? Because of the arrears. I've tried to to start universal credit again, just recently, and now I'm waiting for decision. We will see. We lived here for 13 years. Yeah. We worked here for seven. Mm. Mm. You grumpy, four-year-old. They here. can only rehome the cat, but we don't no, want they, that. And they told me, they told me, think with your brain, not with your heart. I'm thinking of both. He's like a child to us. Yeah. We can't leave him. We can't leave him. No way. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die from heartache. I fucking hate you sometimes. You do make my life just that little bit longer. That's meant for you, darling. Have you got a filter? When I first got homeless, I came straight to Brighton and Cat and Ted were still here, so... Can I have the... Did you recognise me? Yeah. <laughs> I recognise everyone I know on the street. Shit, I, I have people walk past me on the street every day that I don't even know that come to check if I'm OK because apparently I've spoken to them in the past. What's the plan for today? Uh, I'm going to go to the lanes, sit out, try and make £35 for a hotel. That's it, really. That's what I do every day. I don't have any regulars in Brighton, but that's because I move or I don't have a set spot. Everyone else has got a set spot, so they asked me to move, and I've sat down. 
Well, I'll see you later, Carl. I'll see you later, darling. See you later. See you later, darling. Good luck. Kelly. <laughs> um, I lost little girl. I think she just needs a little bit of guidance, like a little bit of help. Um, like a mum figure sort of thing in her life that is going to point her in the right direction. I don't think she's got a lot of family that she has a yeah, lot no. to do with. I've been on the street only about six months now. Feels like forever, though. Another head hangs slowly. Child is slowly taken. When the I want to be a jazz singer. Sometimes I get enough money to go to like an all-you-can-eat buffet. That's fun when that happens. <laughs> but you see, it's not me. My sister lived in the same hostel as me, and so did my brother when they were younger. Uh, and they got treated pretty much the same in there. My brother, he's in prison at the moment till 2020. He's got really bad mental health. I used to take drugs myself. A lot of drugs, actually. I think it's just a bit of a circle. A lot of us come from the care system as well. I guarantee you every single homeless person has been in care at one point. I went into care when I was six. They came and actually took me from school, social services. I didn't even get to say goodbye to my mum. I was in a cooking class and they came in, drove me from Hastings to Ashford. I was only meant to be there three days, which turned into three years, which then turned into till I was 18. <laughs> and now I'm on the street. <laughs> sleeping I've realized it's what's about underneath you not above you like it's so cold worked a couple of times like you haven't wanted to get out your sleeping bag so you like literally wet yourself like thinking it would like help like do you know what I mean and you can't just have a bit of cardboard in the sleeping bag it's too cold you know my dad I sort of um, stopped talking to like when I was, I don't know, when I was about eight years old. It's really hard to explain about my mum, to be honest. It's, it's one of them, um, it's not a love-hate relationship. It's more like, she's like my sister, so... And I think, cos she got put out at a young age, um, she thinks, you, you know, it, it's, everything should be done by yourself. I can't go there for help, basically, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, it's hard to talk to her, basically. It's always ended in an argument, so... Next step, home, yeah, I guess, basically. Um, a job, really. Because they all come in hand in hand, really. Got to have a job to get home, home to get a job. She's not coming out. And Rudolph not coming out. Yeah, come here. Thank you so much. I can't I can't even move because the pain was so bad. Honestly, honestly, it was so bad I couldn't move. You should see her legs. No. Show me your leg. No. Show me your No. Sh give no. show me your leg. No. She's going through the through the, so much pain. Uh, and I think I think it's my kidneys. I think it's my kidneys. Diana, are you are you thankful to have um, someone like Greg? Yes, absolutely. Would you be able to do this on your own? No. Yeah. Never. Never. She's gonna die on her own. Not on my own. No. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Yeah, my boy.
Diana have to see doctor first, and so we're gonna go to see you to see doctor about her eye, and then um, and then I'm gonna be basking at the co-op in St. Leonard's probably. We'll see how it goes. We'll see where where is empty empty space. We used to be on drugs. It took us to hit bottom to, to realize what we need in life. Um, some people, some people just say we don't give a, you know, and keep keep doing drugs. But we are not like that. We are different. <laughs> Diana, what, did, what did they say about your nose and eyes? He can call me a taxi to go to the doctors to have a um, um, scan. Are people thinking that it was Greg that did this to you? Yeah. Yeah, they say, they're all saying that's me. I mean, we argue, yeah, we're arguing sometimes, but not to the point. Everybody knows we argue, but... But not to that point. <sighs> yeah, I'm always looking after her. I was bloody in the woods, yes, didn't I? Sometimes I, I can be a little bit off the line, but not, not no. like that. No, no way. Oh, come on, darling. I love her. in a, a relationship with a partner who was turned out to be and I had my son who's seven and the partner turned out to be very violent and uh, the business stopped the, the relationship obviously stopped but for a safe way to do it I had to put my sister my son with my sister to look after him because I was mentally just like destroyed and I ended up losing the accommodation with the pub and stuff so I went through to Worthing churches because this is my local connection area Wings. <laughs> it's not as hectic over here. The services are crap, <laughs> but it's not hectic. Like Brighton lifestyle is hectic anyway. Even though the services aren't good out here, it's safer for me to be out on the streets in Worthing than Brighton because it's bigger. There's more people out there. Cold too. Yeah, I told someone I was ill and they brought me this. Here, I've got some more. Mm. They're for your blocked nose and stuff. They helped me. Yeah? Yeah, I'll give it to you like that. Yeah, okay, go on then. Yeah. What, what are you... uh, well, I'm going off in town with him. Yeah. Um, and then I'll give you a ring when we're heading back yeah, and I'll give yeah, you a call, yeah. come see you, you before my I head number. off. Yeah. I just haven't got your new one. Yeah. I mean. No, give me a hug. Sorry. <laughs> It's all right, I'll see you later, mate. Yeah. Do you feel that you have to protect Charlotte? Um, I do and I don't. If ever was like, the need arises, then of course I would protect her. I will protect her at any point, but I don't feel that That's I need right. to... Generally, she, she like I think she prides herself on, on looking after herself and being quite independent, you know, strong. A couple of weeks ago, I got beaten up by two guys here. Like, gave me a black eye, a fat lip, like, it's been bad too. Then one of them was like, you're lucky you're a girl. <laughs> I'm thinking, what would you have done if I was a guy? <laughs> you right, mate? You right. You right. It's raining, it's cold. 
I'm not well. <laughs> Hopefully we're gonna rent a room out. We've saved about a hundred and something. Um, and we've got about 150 more to go. But the landlord, he didn't mind about a deposit. We explained our situation and he said he didn't mind us paying it weekly rather than monthly. It'd be easier for us. <coughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> We're nearly at the end. Feeling very well. Bless them. It's sad because I don't really uh, feel for the ones I don't really know because they're not very nice to me. Charlotte and Lance have always been nice, and when I see them like not doing very well in a day or something, it makes me sad. pound a week so I can shower and cook. I'm not gonna miss this. I'm not talking to you. You've drunk two and a half liters of cider yourself. Look at yourself. Oh my god. Hey, it's good. How do you feel? Yeah, okay. good. 100%. You look better. It's okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. It does.